Chelsea Francis. I'm the government support manager for Mohawk government. Um, I will be your master of ceremony today, but before we begin, I'd like to welcome Chief, District Chief of uh, Edward Rumpley to do the Alhambra Delivered Echo for us. Good afternoon. It is with great pleasure that I welcome all of you here today to the swearing-in ceremony. Over the last few months, we have had, we have endured so much, not only as a council but as a community. Regardless of our challenges, what is important is that we continue to keep our minds and hearts full of determination to move our community forward. We pause and reflect upon everything we have achieved as a community, the wonderful things we have in our possession, and how awesome we really are. Our community's determination is what drives our council, and today we welcome back Chief Vicks Thompson. Congratulations, Chief Vicks.
for the Mohawk territory of Office of Asnes, Oath of Office. Uh, I, Vince Thompson, do solemnly swear that I accept the office of Governor of the District Chief for the people of Akwazasne with full respect for the people of our community. I will try, strive to serve the people of Akwazasne faithfully, honestly, and with integrity. I will not bring disgrace upon the people of Akwazasne. Further, I swear to support and defend all laws and customs of the community of Akwazasne. I will faithfully and impartially carry out the duties of my office to the best of my ability, and I will strive to promote the best interest of the people of Akwazasne. I swear not to reveal or cause to be revealed during the subsequent of my term as Chief of Mohawk Council of Akwazasne any matter designated as confidential. I said, it's not up to the chiefs. It's got to come from the people. Um, it's because if we, we, we do it, then we're deemed as putting things in place to protect ourselves. And the people seen, especially the Gawanoga district, seen and witnessed something that they weren't comfortable with. And if it happens in any other district, I think the, uh, the response is going to be the same. So it does indeed need to be amended. And it needs to take us out of this dark cloud that we're under right now. And I hope the uh, negativity that's out in the community turns positive somewhere down the line. It's because doing what they're doing does not do our community any justice. It slows us down. Uh, it pauses a lot of things. Uh, and it does not make political leaders comfortable in their role to achieve some of the things that's really beneficial for our community. So I hope they realize that and moving forward, I hope that they really, really consider doing this and have, having justification on why they're doing it. Just don't do it for the realm, just to do it because you have that right to do it. There has to be sound reasoning and a foundation behind it before these things could move forward. But I do I would like to thank my family. Uh, they stood behind me. And as you know, uh, my family took a huge hit. Uh, people kept asking me, how am I doing? I'm still here, I'm still standing. And I'm ready to take this back on because there's so many important files that I was working on that was really beneficial. You know, some, uh, some of your chiefs were working with me on some of those files. And I think when the voice is lacking at the table, you're, you're missing something. And those voices always should be there as a working working group to achieve the main goals that we need to achieve in order for the well-being of our community. Uh, and getting back to my family, they were supportive in every way. At one time, I said, no, I think it's time to exit. And they said, Baba, no, we hear a lot of good things about you. We need, we need to listen to the people. And they will direct you to the path that you should go on. And so I chose to rerun, and I know when I announced that, uh, some of the uh, Mohawk uh, government man, um, team smiled and said, yay, you know, but it, it, it has to come from here, you know, and that's what, that's what makes us who we are. That's what makes us as a person, a strong person to take on this role as leadership. You know, if we crumble on every little 
think that maybe we should be involved in doing it. And I think I showed myself that I can do this. Uh, even the way I exit it, I thought I handled it professionally, um, took it well, accepted it, moved on, you know. But the outpouring support from Telenovia was just overwhelming that it's not my time to leave yet. You know, I would like to leave on my terms, not anybody else's. So can you young boy? Tell me, you know, dark. 